All eyes are on Israel as the geopolitical crisis unfolds, sending shockwaves through global financial markets. Oil prices have skyrocketed in the wake of this ongoing conflict as possible supply shocks loom. You may find it surprising that a conflict happening far away can have a big impact on your daily life. The Israel-Gaza war and how it affects the world economy. Are they connected in any ways you haven't thought of? In today's video, we're gonna uncover the hidden connections and see how this distant war influences our finances and the world. So, are you prepared to discover the unexpected ties? As tensions rise in the Israel-Gaza conflict, the world is watching closely. What began as a local disagreement could send shockwaves through the global economy. This conflict is complex, involving different groups and factors. With support from Iran, Hamas has launched attacks, raising concerns of U.S. response. If the conflict escalates further, we might witness multi-country showdown, leading to turbulent markets. The consequences are wide-reaching. Iranian oil experts, which have recently been on the rise, might face sanctions. And if the Strait of Hormuz, which is a crucial oil passage, if that's disrupted, the world's oil supply could be at risk. Will Saudi Arabia step in? These uncertainties could send oil prices soaring, affecting inflation and putting pressure on central banks to raise interest rates, which could lead to a global economic downturn. The Israel-Gaza conflict isn't just a local problem. Its impacts are felt across the global economy, and the situation is far from straightforward. As the Israel-Gaza conflict unfolds, the effect on oil prices has the world on edge, with uncertainty in the air. The global economy is preparing for a turbulent ride, Let's simplify it. You see, oil prices react to the conflict like a seesaw. When there's uncertainty, prices shoot up. Why? Because oil is vital for the world. It powers your car, warms your home, and keeps factories running. So when its price shoots up, everything you buy becomes more expensive. But here's a twist. The global economy relies heavily on oil. If prices keep rising, it sets off a chain reaction. Inflation shows up, causing prices to go up, not just for oil, but for everything from groceries to gadgets. And that's when your hard-earned money doesn't go as far. The Israel-Gaza war isn't just about battles far away. Its effects touch the global economy. This conflict introduces a hefty dose of uncertainty into financial markets. As tensions rise, investors get anxious, seeking safe investments like gold and increasing the demand for the U.S. dollar. But what's causing the market turmoil? And how does it affect you? Let's simplify. Geopolitical risk arises when political conflicts disrupts the world stage. The Israel-Gaza conflict is a prime example, and it sends shockwaves through global markets. When investors sense uncertainty, they go for safer investments, causing a shift in market dynamics. Now, let's connect the dots. The risk-off sentiment often leads to fluctuations in oil prices, affecting everything from the cost of your daily commute to goods on store shelves. The hard-fought progress towards economic stability seems threatened as the conflict adds an extra layer of complexity to an already intricate global financial puzzle. What's next? Stay tuned to unravel more mysteries of this conflict and what it means for your investments. Let's dive into the world of numbers. When the Israel-Gaza conflict can cause ripples. When conflicts disrupt stability, inflation can surge like a tidal wave. Inflation means the prices of things that you buy every day, like food and clothes, can start to climb. But wait, there's more. The big decision makers, like governments and banks, try to control inflation by tweaking something called interest rates. These rates determine how much it costs to borrow money. Now, when the economy is in rocky waters due to conflicts, interest rates, well, they might go up. But why does this matter to you? Well, higher interest rates can mean paying more when you want to buy something big, like a house or car. It's like an extra tax on your purchases. As we delve into the heart of the matter, the Gaza Strip is grappling with an unrelenting humanitarian crisis, with over 80% of its population living in poverty. Daily life is a constant struggle. Clean water and electricity are luxuries that many people living in Gaza can only dream of. Even before the latest waves of violence, the Hamas government was unable to pay its employees, pushing their salaries from 10 million per month to a meager 3 million. The situation has reached a breaking point as over 5,000 homes have been completely destroyed and another 3,700 left uninhabitable. For the people living in Gaza, survival means navigating a dire shortage of supplies, from food to medicine. While the conflict rages on, it's the innocent civilians who bear the brunt of this unfolding tragedy, making you wonder about the lasting impact of such devastation and how it all fits into the bigger picture. 
Let's peer into the lens of Israel's economic landscape during this terrible conflict. As rockets fly and tensions rise, the financial heartbeat of Israel feels the tremors. Stocks and bonds shiver in response to the chaos, causing markets to stumble and stagger. Many businesses remain shuttered and schools stand empty as daily life faces disruption. To counter the tremor, Israel's central bank announces it will sell billions of foreign reserves to stabilize its currency, the shekel. The once thriving Israeli stock index is now bruised, losing a significant 6% in just one week. A nation renowned for innovation and entrepreneurship now finds itself navigating turbulent economic waters. Yet beneath the surface, you must wonder, what is the true cost? How long will it take for the economic scars to heal? And what lasting impacts will this conflict leave on Israel's financial future? In the world of economics, as in life, there are rarely easy answers. The intrigue deepens as we uncover the complexity of Israel's financial resilience amidst the storm of conflict. Now, let's step into the intricate world of global economic consequences triggered by the Israel-Gaza conflict. What began as a regional dispute has rippled out, affecting economies across the globe. It's not just about Israel and Gaza, it's about how these events resonate with every one of us. The increase in oil prices raises the question of how it affects the average person. As oil prices surge, so does the cost of everyday essentials. Transportation, heating, and even food we put on our tables become pricier. The economic turmoil trickles down to our pockets, making us rethink our daily expenses. Furthermore, these uncertain times have a more substantial impact than just higher prices. Investors, corporations, and markets worldwide become cautious. They're uncertain about where to put their money and how to safeguard their assets in such unstable conditions. The financial world is navigating uncharted waters, and the stakes are high. What about interest rates? Rising inflation might push central banks to increase interest rates. This not only affects people looking for loans, but also those with mortgages and credit card debts. Exploring the political outcomes, we face a web of uncertain scenarios. Could this conflict in Israel and Gaza spread further, dragging in more countries? The consequences of such a spiraling situation are perplexing. In recent years, the conflict has shown a habit of rearing its head, affecting not only the people on the ground, but rippling through the world's financial system. If more nations join this already intricate geopolitical web, it's like adding fuel to a smoldering fire. Remember the Iran factor, a country with its own economic significance and ties with Hamas. Their involvement could be the game changer. One thing is clear, the Israel-Gaza conflict is not just a regional issue. Its echoes resonate far and wide, impacting the world economy and the lives of millions. And now, we've reached the end of our journey through the intricacies of the Israel-Gaza conflict and its impact on the global economy. To stay updated and explore the ever-evolving narrative, click the like button. If you found this video informative, share it with others who need to understand the situation. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future in-depth videos. The world is in constant flux, and we're here to help you make sense of it. Thanks for joining us on this journey.